up the YouTube world right so this is take two because the phone didn't work well <laughs> but yes this is take two and um this is the day three the Jewel Murray ill has been in the tank see I already did all this and I'm messing up already take two now anyways we are going to feed him some food and we're going to feed everybody else too including the feather dusters the coils the blunny fish and um I seen him yesterday I still gotta upload that video but the bandit and the pistol shrimp are still in here <laughs> you just you only see him once a week all right let's take a look at the food so um there's the bandit shrimp all right and I think the eel is kind of like right there if you take a good look you see his face He's like, what's up buddy he knows what time it is all right let's take a look at his food Alrighty, so let's take a look at the food. So this time we're gonna feed him some Siverside fish, the real fish that's frozen. <laughs> and then we got some krill for the banana shrimp. Hopefully the uh, ill doesn't eat it again because he loves some krill. And then we have blood worms because everybody loves some blood worms, right? Right? Oh yeah, let me put this back real quick. Alright, and then we got some food for the coral. So this is plankton. And then this is really good stuff right here. This even smells delicious. You open the cap, you're like, mmm, this is delicious. Hell yeah. So it's for everything. Your coils, your feather dusters, scallops, clams, all the good guys. All the cool guys. And what I do is I put a little bit in there. Now don't worry, I didn't put that much in there. It's only about five milliliters. So like two, like two drops, like right here. And then a little bit of this to the cap full. And then I mix it with salt water. And then it gives me more control and a little bit more. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Alrighty, so we got the fish. He's frozen. Cool. And what we do is we're going to turn off the water. Flow. So it's not so much power. And this is how I feed my saltwater tank. Good looking tank, right? For once we don't actually have the stuff on the glass. <laughs> the snails did their job. Alright, let's see if we can get this guy. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I'm going to put the phone down so I just don't mess that up real quick. Oh, that's my feet. You guys see my feet? Oh, this guy's hard to hold. So I got him, but it's not that easy to hold. I'm putting them in the water so people can smell them. Oh, that's a sardine. It's going to start being wobbly. It's a whole fish, too. Oh, there's the, there's the crab. Look at him. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's starting, to, he's starting to be flimsy. You think he's going to eat them? The whole fish? Oh, you want it, don't you? Oh, it's going to take some time. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. You smell it? <laughs> well, I'll put the video on pause till he comes. Alright, there he is. I was like, where did he go? And there he is. Because I was like putting the food over here by where his head was. And he's like looking for it. There you are, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta come and get it. Come down here, buddy. You want that, huh? You wanna eat the whole thing? Yeah, go get it. Play around with that fish. There he goes. Where did he go? Oh, he see now he's up there again. The fish is floating. I don't know if fish is a good idea to feed him because I wanted to put the clownfish in here first before I got an ill, but he was on a discount. <laughs> Yeah, they were having a sale, so I actually waited to the sale to get them. Yeah, I don't think I don't think he wants to fish. It's too big, and we got a long video here, so we're gonna take the fish out of here. Cause he he ain't really 
What is he doing? Can I pause it? No. Well, this video sucks, doesn't it? No! Well, we tried. So he's not ready for a big fish yet. It is a big fish. Big dead fish. Big dead fish now. Alrighty, let's go get the other food. Oops. Alrighty, we're working with the krill now. Let me see if he likes that krill. Now this is his favorite. There he is. Oh, you smell that krill. He wants the krill. He doesn't like the fish. Yeah, you get that boy. There you go. <laughs> Look at him tearing down. Sorry, we can't get a good picture. There we go. It is still frozen, buddy. They'll give it a chance to defrost. There you go. Yeah. That's my boy. Eating good. You know, that's supposed to be for the bandit shrimp. You didn't eat your fish. You gotta start eating fish. Boy, he probably wants more after that, too. Alright, let's go ahead and do the, the coils and stuff. Alright, we got a little syringe type deal here. And what I do is I try to aim it at the coil. The green one here, the guy, he's trying to eat. He's still hungry. And then it will eventually make it back there. I'll give some to the mushroom coil. It shoots right there. And then we got we got one way down here. Um, feather duster. I'll try to get that down there too. Yeah. Alright, and then we just need some more water. So yeah, so aquarium water, salt water, and uh, I mix it about two times before I actually make sure I drain it real good. Well, we put a little bit more in there, and so we got the big feather duster here now. Oh, look at the, I uh, can't think of his name right now. <laughs> uh, every time, it vanishes way down here. It's right in that feather duster. Nice. Alrighty, and then this is the last one. We're going to just do a little bit more with the big one here and a little bit in the back. Boom. Cool. And now we got some blood worms. Oh, there you are, buddy. I'm sorry, I went too far. Go get yourself some blood worms. He always takes a bite or two. Oh, well, you got yourself one. Don't run away. There's still a lot more right here, bud. Surprised that Ill ain't trying to get himself. You gonna get yourself some more? I see you eating the ones on the ground. Get yourself a pick, boy. Do it. Oh, he's gonna get that one instead. You punk. But he does like some blood worms. Maybe he's get one more here. Do it. Do it. You want it? No? Okay. See if you can feed him. You wanna get this right here, buddy? Gotta grab it now. The blood worms usually swim back down. He is. He's right there. Uh, yeah, it's hard to see. Bandage shrimp trying to. Uh. Alrighty, you two. Day three of the jeweled moray eel, and he gets fed no matter what. The uh, anatomy, there it is. 
um, power head just blows it all on him. But all right, let's go ahead and turn on the power. Got the power back on. All right. So you see it all moving, and anything that goes over goes down in here in the overflow box and into this fiber floss filter. And then within the end of the day, I always take it out and just throw it away with all the uneaten food in there. But all right, you two. That is the feeding on the saltwater tank, the blunny, the coals. I uh, try to feed the banana shrimp, but the eel ate it all. <laughs> but no worries, he will be able to get himself some. There are a whole bunch of brittle worms in the rocks itself. Oh, there he is. What's up, buddy? We were looking for you. And um, yeah. So he can get some bread of worms out of the rocks to find a shrimp. That's what all the crabs do. <laughs> but alright YouTube, I wish you an awesome night and y'all be good. Laters.